What drew you to doing such a quirky documentary? Yeah, well, it didn't start out quite so quirky. It was actually a much larger, broader violin documentary. And in the course of making that, this person who was a friend of a person, was a friend of a person, the Columbus Symphony Orchestra told me about this guy in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, that I should meet. And about 30 minutes after I met Danny, I was like, all right, I got my movie here. So. Okay, and you didn't know that he was trying to create his own Stradivarius, did you? Uh, no, I mean he he liked to make violins, and he was he sort of making he makes he made violins and the copies, you know, as copies and versions of uh, various famous makers like Stradivari and Guarneri. So, but when I started with him, yeah, there was there was the move the story that eventually happened had not yet reared its head so yeah so you were just very lucky that you're there at the right time yeah it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience for a filmmaker I mean Danny's an amazing subject and the story is an incredible story and um, I just got really lucky that it all sort of landed in my lap I hear that it's even gonna be showing in some festivals in Italy yeah that's right uh, we just uh, recently found out that we um, are going to be in Taromina which uh, I saw the pictures and it's crazy it's like this 2,000 year old Greek amphitheater overlooking the ocean and you know tough life yeah, tough life there. So, are you going to take him with you to Italy, do you think? Oh yeah, I don't think that I could keep him away. Um, yeah, he's he's very excited too. And this is a guy who was afraid to fly. I mean, this guy was petrified the first time I got him on an airplane, and now he's, he's ready to go. Yeah. So with all the films that are coming out, especially documentaries, because they tend to be a very popular format right now, why should people seek out Strad Style? Well, Strad Style is, first of all, a lot of documentaries, when people think documentary, it's like, oh, heavy and hard and watch and sort of, you know, this is a really, really fun movie. I mean, so it's a really positive movie. It's a really, I mean, uh, a lot of people are saying it's, it's as nerve-wracking as watching a horror movie in some places. So, um, but overall, it's just a really fun movie. And I think when you walk away from it, you can just feel kind of that, that there are good things in this world.